suppose true model is yt equals to beta 1 plus beta 2 xt2 plus beta 3 xt3 plus ut now esti but you have estimated the model by omitting the x uh, x3 term okay you have estimated a wrong model so you have actually estimated this model which is yt equals to beta 1 plus beta 2 x2t plus vt since this is not same as the original model so it will have the different error term so OLS estimate of the OLS estimate of the estimated model say for example in this case your beta 2 hat would be equal to this you have already done which is summation of x2 yt upon summation of x2 square in the deviation form your xt is basically xt minus x bar and yt is basically yt minus y bar clear and uh, beta 1 hat is y bar minus beta 2 hat x bar 2 okay so I'm much concerned right now is with uh, I'm, I'm much concerned uh, with uh, with beta 2 hat term I don't know what has happened to my English anyway um, note that this beta 2 hat may not be correct okay because you have estimated this beta 2 hat from the wrong model by omitting by omitting one important term uh, so what you will do is that you will write this beta 2 hat is equal to summation hmm, x2 in place of yt you can write yt minus y bar upon summation x2 square well that would mean summation x2 yt minus summation x2 and y bar will come out of the summation sign because it is a constant upon summation x2 square now note that this x2 summation of x2 would be equal to 0 because of sum of deviations from mean is equal to 0 okay so what is left out is summation x2 yt upon summation x2 square huh so this is what is left out now what you will do in order to prove that that beta 2 hat is an unbiased estimator of beta 2 you need to prove that e of beta 2 hat is equal to beta 2 this is what you wanted to prove fine now you have estimated beta 2 hat as summation x2 yt upon summation x2 square fine now the point is that uh, that this 1 upon summation x2 square is basically the non stochastic term so it will come out of the summation uh, expectation sign fine so what is left is this 
x2 yt uh, so you will apply the expectation to this term now just look at this term look at this term properly so it is I'm not concerned right now with summation of x2 square just see what I'm doing for the numerator which is this okay so what exactly could be done here even forget about expectation right now okay just look at summation of x2 yt just look at summation of x2 yt now x2 is deviation from x bar 2 the small x2 and in place of uh, and 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 uh, this is yt okay so what do you have is basically summation x t2 minus x bar 2 in place of yt you will write the true model which is beta 1 plus beta 2 x2 t plus beta 3 x t 3 plus u t that is the true model not the estimated model okay now you can write these terms properly which becomes beta 1 into summation of x t 2 minus x bar 2 plus beta 2 into summation x t 2 into x bar x t 2 minus x bar 2 plus beta 3 sorry not hat beta 3 into summation x t 3 into I'm so sorry which is x t 2 minus x bar 2 plus summation u t into x t 2 minus x bar 2 okay now look at this term the first term this will be of course equal to 0 sum of deviations from mean so this entire term has gone this term has gone now just look at the second term okay this is the this is let me term as a this term as b and this term as c just look at a which is beta 2 summation x t 2 minus x bar 2 so just look at the manipulation which we are doing which is beta 2 into summation of just see the manipulation x t 2 minus x bar 2 plus x bar 2 x t 2 minus x bar 2 okay just put this in one bracket and put the other one in the other, other bracket so you will have this term multiplied by this you will have x t 2 minus x bar 2 square plus summation x bar 2 will come out of summation x bar 2 into x t 2 minus x bar 2 okay now note that this again would be equal to 0 this is summation sum of deviations from mean so what is left out is from the a term is basically beta 2 into summation of x t 2 minus x bar 2 but you can write it as just 
x2 square small of x2 small x2 is sim is simple uh, xt2 minus x bar 2 so this is your b term uh, this is your a term okay now look at the b term b term is this beta 3 into xt3 minus x2t minus x bar 2 which is beta 3 into summation x t3 minus x 2 t minus x bar 2 again the same kind of manipulation which is beta 3 into summation x t3 minus x bar 3 plus x bar 3 this won't change or this won't make any difference is xt2 minus x bar 2 okay put this in the first bracket so it is xt3 minus x bar 3 into xt2 minus x bar 2 so you can write this as beta 3 into summation of xt3 minus x bar 3 into xt2 minus x bar 2 plus beta 3 x bar 3 will come out of the summation sign into summation of x t 2 minus x bar 2 now this will again be equal to 0 okay because some of deviations remain and you can write this term as x small x3 and this term as small x2 so what you will get is from b term which is beta 3 into summation of x2 x3 fine and the last term as you could see that is a c term which is this this is just this could be written as simply summation of ut into x2 okay your small x2 so you can write three terms now which is so your your summation x2 yt becomes beta 2 this is your a term summation x2 square plus beta 3 into summation x2 x3 plus summation x2 ut okay now you will put the expectation sign okay beta 2 will come out of the expectation beta 3 will come out of the expectation summation of x2 will come out of the expectation it being non stochastic so and what is e of ut e of ut is zero because of our assumption that is the error terms on an average they are zero it's the assumption of classical linear regression model so what is e of summation of x2 yt it is basically beta 2 e of summation of x2 square is same because this is non stochastic term plus e of summation of x2 x3 is same because again that is non stochastic term beta 3 summation of x2 x3 Okay. And in the beginning itself, we have said this that we are concerned with the numerator because numerator of this beta 2 because this is 1 upon summation of x2 square. This is non stochastic, it will come out to the summation sign. So beta 3 e of beta 2 hat e of beta 2 hat is equal to 1 upon summation x2 square beta 2 summation x2 square plus beta 3 okay simplifying it further we will have just beta 2 because 1 upon summation x2 square into summation x2 square will be 1 
plus beta 3 summation of x2 x3 upon summation of x2 square this is e of beta 2 hat now in order to prove that beta 2 hat is unbiased you need to have e of beta 2 hat equals to beta 2 this is beta 3 I'm sorry and this would be equal to just beta 2 in case if this term is equal to 0 okay in case if this term is equal to 0 that is let me just put it properly for you guys in case if this term is equal to 0 okay now this would be equal to 0 if if your x2 and x3 if x2 and x3 are uncorrelated in case if x2 and x3 are uncorrelated uh, then in that case summation of x2 x3 would be equal to 0 and this term would become equal to 0 and e of beta 2 hat would be equal to beta 2 so what is your omitted variable bias this term this entire term beta 3 into summation of x2 x3 upon summation of x2 square is omitted variable bias okay well in case if x2 and x3 are x2 and x3 they are positively correlated so your omitted how do you write that omitted variable bias would have a positive direction in case if they are negatively correlated omitted variable bias will have a negative direction okay and also if if summation of x2 x3 is not equal to 0 and n increases indefinitely then beta 2 hat will not converge will not converge to beta 2 and in that case beta 2 will not be consistent okay so this was the recording on omitted variable bias so the best way to go about it is that you listen to the recording first and then again listen to the recording and make notes side by side fine Okay, thank you very much.